failure is not an option. When attempting to accomplish a specific goal, this is a statement that is well known and ascribed to by many people and is considered to be emblematic of the desire for true success. But I'm here to tell you today in no uncertain terms that this perspective is flawed at best and downright destructive at worst. Here's an example from two different arenas of life. The overwhelming majority of businesses that open will ultimately fail, some quickly and some less so. Additionally, the same can be said of any school-aged athlete with aspirations of going pro in their chosen sport. Now, this is not to say that these businesses and these athletes will not meet with success in other areas of life. In fact, it's possible, maybe even likely, that they will. Which brings me to the real focus of this video. In order to wrestle success from the jaws of failure, one must have the willingness to admit that they have failed in a specific task, but that individual failure does not make them a failure as a person. See, a goal is just that. It's a goal. It is something to be achieved. It is not what you are, and it is not who you are. The people in life who ultimately succeed at the end of the day are the ones who see things in this fashion. These types of people have ways of coping with task failure that allow them to regroup and either attack the task in a new way, reassess their situation, or move on to an altogether different goal. And if you're anything like me, you'll likely have had various successes and failures in your life that have brought you to the point you are now. As for me, I'm a teacher, and I love and am grateful for my career. But I also had aspirations to become a professional bodybuilder. Now, this didn't quite work out for me as planned, but I did use this insight from my lack of success with that endeavor as a tool to help me create a modest, small side business as a personal trainer, which brings me some measure of fulfillment in addition to my teaching career. So I want you to ask yourself this question. If you had given up after your first failure in life, where would you be now? Likely not in a good place. Now ask yourself this. What allowed you to pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and try again? Now some answers that we would all likely agree on would be coping mechanisms that allowed us to process the emotional nature of a failed pursuit, a strong sense of self, along with the confidence that comes with it, and most likely a healthy dose of being able to learn from our own mistakes. You see, most folks who truly believe that old failure is not an option mindset lack the skill set required for long-term success because they likely do not know how to cope with failure in the short term or the here and now. They'll fail at a task, they'll give up, and they won't look back, learning nothing, and what's worse, not even realizing that there was something to be learned from that negative experience it could have been used as a tool towards self-improvement. These people will rarely, if ever, know what it is to achieve any real success in life. Because they lack introspection. They lack long-term metacognitive abilities, where basically this means that they're not aware of how they think and their own thought processes, so they're really just stuck in a loop and they're unlikely to change that pattern of behavior. The Samson Strong approach is the exact opposite of this. My approach to training directly mirrors my approach to life. I'm a very goal-oriented guy. And I will come at a goal with the intention and the expectation of accomplishing it. If I end up with short-term failure, I'll then reassess my approach and my plan of attack. And I'll try again. I'll even reassess my overall goals from time to time, as I think most people should, just to be sure that they're still the ideal ones for me to strive for. And for this process to work, failure has to be an option. It's the only way we can really know what we did that didn't work, thereby allowing us to figure out ways to adapt and overcome those flaws and map out a road to real long-term success. I do this in my career as a teacher, I do this in the gym, and I do this with my clients. The reality is that failure is always an option and is often the best option on the road to long-term success. Now I want you to take this logical, introspective approach to your life and to your fitness. I hope this video gave you some insight, maybe a new perspective, it was hopefully just a little interesting. And if you're watching this on Facebook, please click the link below to my YouTube page of the same name for videos with specific knowledge on weight training theory and practice. For questions or individual consultations, message me here on Facebook, or contact me at samsonstrong4 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay Samson Strong.